everybody, Devony here from Devony Interactive, the hippest mom on the YouTube, bringing you some Team Deathmatch on Hard Hat. A note about the gameplay, this was actually a game that was on my live stream yesterday afternoon, which I had so much fun with. I got to hang out with so many cool people, and it was awesome. So I'll probably be doing that this afternoon. So if you would like to participate, because it'll probably be on the Xbox, make sure that you follow me on Twitter, because that's how I inform people when I start live streaming. The question for today comes from Freedom Fries, who is an awesome commentator, by the way. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down in the description as well, because he, I mean, he has so much enthusiasm. It's just awesome. Everybody should go check out at least one of his videos. But his question is, the first time you thought you just might kill one of your kids because they made you so angry. Well, actually, it, it's... Uh, the only time I really thought that I was going to kill my kids is over an issue that we had with a BB gun. Um, there was a uh, there was an incident where we had bought my oldest son a BB gun and we would take him out to the fields and things like that. And he would do like target practice with the BB guns. When we were not there, it was always kept in my closet. There were two kids who kind of lived down the road by the pool and stuff like that. And they were always kind of just getting into stuff all the time. But I wouldn't let my kids go over to their house because there was like a lack of supervision at their house. But as long as they were at my house, at least I figured I could keep an eye on them. Well, somehow, one of these kids from down the street took it upon themselves to go into my closet, get this BB gun, and they were outside in the backyard shooting stuff. The next thing I know, I am getting, like, phone calls and stuff that they're out in the backyard shooting a BB gun. So I go out there, I totally lose it. I take the BB gun away from them, and I send the two kids home. The very next morning, I take my son with the BB gun and all the lead to the local police station, and I said, that's it. It's done. And I can remember the local policeman at the time. He was just like, I was like, I want to turn it in. I don't want to throw it away because it's going to wind up in the wrong hands. I says, just dispose of this thing for me. I don't even want to deal with it. He says, well, you know we're going to melt it down, right? I'm like, I don't give a crap what you do with it. Just get it out. He, he's obviously not responsible enough to, to handle this friggin' BB gun. He, he, he was like too afraid to tell his friends to, you know, oh no, 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 go put that shit back in the closet. So we turn it in like that morning. That afternoon, I get a knock on my door from the same policeman that we turned in the BB gun to. He's like, I wasn't sure if you knew it or not. He said, but uh, your neighbor behind you called and said that somehow her windshield to her truck had gotten shot out. I said, you got to be frigging kidding me. So, apparently, while they were shooting in the backyard at each other and everybody else, they also shot out my neighbor's truck window. And it wasn't like a side window. This was like the big friggin' window. So, anyway, it, it was after that ordeal. I, I swear to you, I literally, I had to leave my house because if I didn't leave my house, I was physically going to hurt somebody. And I was just, I don't know. So, yes, that was like the only time that I had gotten so mad at my kids that I actually thought that I was going to kill them. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. 19 and 4 wasn't too terribly bad seeing how it was a live stream. So, thank you all for watching, and y'all have a great day.